Hi guys, it's Miss Joby, and I am not at my house today. Do you guys have any idea where I am? I'm at the Cove, where we meet for Awana and for Club 45. And it's kind of strange, because it's been a while since I've sat in this desk and done any work. But we're finally starting to come back a little bit more to the Cove to do our work for church and to get things done. And so I thought it would be fun to do my bedtime Bible story from my desk. Today's bedtime Bible story is one of my favorites and I'm so happy about it because I love this story. So I'm so excited I get to share it with you. Today's story is called The Forgiving Prince. It's about Joseph and his brothers from Genesis 37, 46. Jacob had 12 sons, but of all his sons, Joseph was his favorite. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a splendid new robe. It was beautiful and rich with all the colors of the rainbow, but it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wanted rich rainbow robes too. I would be jealous as well. I don't blame his brothers. Then to make matters worse, Joseph kept on having these special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest. I was king, Joseph told his brothers, and you all bowed down to me. Now, I'm sure you know, even if Joseph didn't, that telling your brothers things like this isn't a very good idea. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's rainbow robe off him and sold him to slave traders for 20 pieces of silver. Oh my goodness, that's awful. The traders took Joseph to Egypt and made him into a slave. The brothers went home and lied to their father, telling him that Joseph was dead. That's the end of that dreamer, they thought, but they were wrong. God had a magnificent dream for Joseph's life. And even when it looked like everything had gone wrong, wrong God would use it all to help make the dream come true. God would use everything that was happening to Joseph to do something good. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from his home and from his dad. Then he got blamed for something he didn't do. And even though he had done nothing wrong, he was punished and thrown in jail. But God had not left Joseph. One night, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had a scary dream about thin cows gobbling up fat cows. What on earth did it mean? He didn't know, but Joseph was a dream expert, so Pharaoh sent for him. It means a famine is coming, Joseph explained. There won't be enough food. Pharaoh was so pleased by Joseph's skills, skill that he immediately took Joseph out of jail and made him a prince. Now, back at home, Joseph's brothers had run out of food and everyone was hungry. God's special family was in danger. If they didn't get food, soon they would starve to death. So Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to buy food. They came and knelt before the new prince. His brothers didn't know that the prince was Joseph, but Joseph knew who they were. Joseph's dream, the one about his brothers bowing down to him, was coming true. It's me, Joseph cried. When they saw it was Joseph, his brothers were afraid. They had wronged Joseph. They had sinned and they knew it. Now Joseph would certainly punish them. But Joseph looked at his brothers and his eyes filled with tears. Even though his brothers had hurt him, and hated him and wanted him dead, in spite of everything, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart, which they had broken, filled up with love, and Joseph forgave them. Joseph threw his arms around them. Don't be afraid, he said. Behind what you were doing, behind what you were doing, underneath everything that was happening, God was doing something good. God was making everything right again. Joseph didn't punish them, he rescued them. He brought God's special family to live safely with him in Egypt. One day, God would send another prince, a young prince, whose heart would break. Like Joseph, he would leave, <clears throat> leave his home and his father. His brothers would hate him and want him dead. He would be sold for pieces of silver. He would be punished even though he had done nothing wrong. Do you know the, who they're talking about? Jesus. But God would use everything that happened to this young prince even the bad things, to do something good, to forgive the sins of the whole world. 
the whole world, everybody. Oh my goodness, I love that story. I love that story because it shows me that God uses everything, all bad situations, and makes good come from it from for the people that love him. And I love that Joseph was able to help his brothers and his family and was able to be reunited with them even after all of that yuckiness of them selling him to slave traders. And it's just a great story of how much God loves us and how much he takes care of us. And I keep thinking about this when it comes to this whole situation that we've been in with this pandemic and this yucky virus and all of the things that are going on right now, that God is gonna use it all for good for his people that love him. Will you guys pray with me? Father God, I pray that you would be with these kids as they're going to sleep tonight, wrap them up in your love, God. I thank you, Lord, for the story of Joseph and how you redeemed it. You made it better. You made it, you made good come out of the bad, God. And I pray that you would do that in all of our lives, Lord, through this pandemic, that you would make good come out of this, even in the midst of all the badness, Lord. Give my friends sweet dreams, God. Protect their minds and their bodies. Keep them healthy, Lord, and safe. It's in your name we pray. Amen.